Ever since the iOS 13.3 jailbreak was released, I've been working on a top 10 list of my favorite tweaks for it. If you'd like for me to make a tutorial video on how to install this jailbreak on your own phone, let me know in the comments. First off, we have Tweak Compatible. This tweak is really useful because it'll tell you what tweaks will work with your version of iOS and which ones won't. For example, if you type in Zeppelin, which currently doesn't work for iOS 13.3, it'll tell you that it's not working. This tweak is really useful because it'll tell you right away if a tweak will work with your phone or not, so you don't have to go online and search for it. Next up, we have Airport. Airport lets you change the little pop-up that comes up when you open up your AirPods. So for example, I'm going into the settings right now and changing it so that the pop-up will be green when I open up my AirPods near my phone. And here's what it looks like with the green color scheme set up. You can also use it to make the pop-up look dark mode, which looks pretty nice. And you can also change the color of the AirPods and the case themselves. This is especially useful if you have a custom pair of AirPods, so the pop-up will match them. Next up we have charging bubbles. This tweak is pretty cool because it adds a little charging animation to the bottom of your screen on the lock screen when your phone is either on a wireless charger or if it's plugged in through the wire. You can randomize the color, which looks like this, and then you can also set the color of the bubbles to be whatever color you want. So if you had a brighter background and you want to make the color stand out more, you could set it to be a darker color. And you can also change the amount of bubbles but I usually like to leave it on 100 because it looks really cool. Next up we have battery percent X. This is a really useful tweak if you're on an iPhone X or higher device because you can't usually show your battery percentage otherwise. You can also change the color of the battery percentage to be whatever you want, or you can set it so that it'll go along with if your phone's charging to be green or orange if you're on low power mode. You can also turn on the battery bar, which is a bar that goes across the top width of your screen and it'll get smaller as your phone runs out of battery, which looks pretty nice, but I don't use it because it takes up too much space. Snowboard is a theming engine that lets you apply themes that you download through Cydia to your icons in your home screen. If you put your home screen into edit mode and then double tap on any app icon, you can choose whatever icon you want for each one of your apps from a list of all of your themes icons. You can also use a picture from your photos as an app icon if you want to do that as well. Snowboard also lets you change the corner radius and scale of your icons. You can also turn off labels and dots on your home screen. Now if any of you were wondering how I have my icons floating in the bottom right corner like that, I'm using a tweak called Blank Icons. All this tweak does is make transparent icons that don't do anything when you tap on them, which allows you to basically put your icons to actually work anywhere you want. The tweak itself is very simple, all you have to do is go into the settings, select the number of icons you want to make, and then respring your phone and it'll add them to your home screen. And then you can place them wherever you want to move your other icons around. Color Banish 3 lets you theme the notifications on your phone system-wide. You can change the background color, background gradient, text color, and border color. It can also adapt to your phone if it's in dark mode or light mode. I currently have it set up so that the border color will match the color of the app icon you're using. If you want to set this tweak up like how I have mine set up, you set the border color to be adaptive, the text color to contrast, and the background color to stock. Remember that you have to make these adjustments in the banners, lock screen, and notification center profiles. Color Banners 3 goes hand in hand with Color Badges. Color Badges is very similar to Color Banners in that it'll theme the color of your badge based on the color of the app icon. You can make it so that the text color and the borders are always white, and you can also turn on and off the borders if you don't want those. Color Badges also has support for glyph themes. If you turn on the glyph theme setting, it'll color the badge based off of the unthemed app icon instead of the glyph themed icon. Silent Screenshot is a small but useful tweak that lets you disable the shutter sound your phone makes when you take a screenshot. It also lets you change the color of the screen flash when you take a screenshot, and change the amount of haptic feedback that comes from taking a screenshot. This tweak is really useful because sometimes when you're taking a screenshot in public, it'll sound like your phone was taking a picture, which can be awkward. Gravitation is a fun tweak to mess around with. It enables gravity on your icons on your home screen so that when you tilt your phone, they'll move around with it. You can enable it and disable it just by shaking your phone, which is pretty cool because it's like you're actually shaking your icons out of place. And your icons will still actually work no matter where they are on your home screen. Because I'm using blank icons, it looks a little funny, but if you have normal icons, it'll look normal. 